in the beauty of his holiness hallelujah your hands are lifted on your feet let's honor god and the presence of the spirit of god in this place let me borrow my father's song again I bring in a jebosumu iye nyame dada eja jebosumu ohi iye nyame. Jesus, we bow before you. Take over this morning. Work on us. We are so men under construction. Do us good like never before. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I want to thank God for the life of my father, Papa Steve. Mensa, Mama Jane, my mother, Papa Stanley, Mama Martha, my mother. It is an honor and a great blessing. I mean, I've been here many, many, many times, but any time is a tenuous moment. I still haven't gotten over the tension, you know. Uh, couldn't sleep well this night. I stayed up till about three. Uh, praying and uh, you know when you want to preach in a place like this where all the iconic matrices have been you know all the patriarchal figures the matriarchal figures have been you know um, the, the, the Bible shrinks into a pamphlet a DM you know a DM I mean a DM message I mean this is this is the highest you can go all the all the iconoclastic guys in the kingdom you know have been here the, 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 and, and, and by 3 a.m message is still not constructing <laughs> and no sir no and no sir when you were a minister and your wife is talking, hi babes or sister, and your babes are some and your babes. <laughs> and your babes. <laughs> uh, we need message revelation from the throne. <laughs> I want to say a big God bless you for the presbytery of this great commission for the opportunity we I, I i said on friday the from the first day i stood on this platform the apostolic gates opened up to me and to alabasta and since that day we don't joke with this altar or podium this morning i would like to read you a beautiful caption of scripture as a matter of fact as the last words of jesus and the last words of every man is considered as uh, the very important or pertinent uh, words of that person. It is very, very popular. Um, the theologians have termed it as, you know, the Great Commission. Matthew chapter 28, verse number 18 to 20. 
Matthew, the 28th chapter, the 18th to the 20. 20th verses. The Bible said, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with thee, I am with thee to unto the end of the world. Go ye therefore teach. Can I ask you kindly to say teach? And then when he went further, he said, baptize in them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with thee always, even unto the end of the world. Jesus' concept of church or the concept of the ecclesia, ladies and gentlemen, was, was not uh, to have a chimfuku, kofuku, a disadel old boys and all the other things that we have bring into or brought into the concept or the, the confines of the church or the parameters of the church. That it was not our idea. He needed us to go and teach all nations and gather them uh, baptize them and tutor them after an impartation so they see the prophetic ministry they see the miraculous ministry they see the the touch of god the move of god and all that and they are attracted to it but he is also talking about kingdom apostolic teaching that is able to replace blatant demonic assaults and remove demonic altars and noise that emanates from demonic altars in other words if somebody is coming from a background of demonic entities the gospel has the proclivity or the tendency to redeem you out of that particular space and bring you into the domain of the marvelous light of his dear son and uh, work on you the gospel has the tendency Tendency of uh, picking Kubala boys and polishing them, refining them like gold. The gospel has the proclivity to do that. It, it has a tendency to polish ladies who were not ladies before and, and bring feminists into the place where people will salute them and honor them and show them respect and, and, and some dignity as womanhood. The gospel is able to do that. You know, sometimes when I look at uh, gospel musicians, astute ones for that matter, who come on this podium and sing worship God and all that, I, I think about if it had it not been for the work of the cross and the sacrifice of the blood, those people would be nothing. Nothing. The blood and the cross makes a difference. Ladies and gentlemen, oh yeah. That is why we don't take the salvation for granted. At all. At all. So Jesus' concept was to bring them in. And in order to teach them, you need to gather them. That is why there is a need for uh, buildings like this one, cathedrals, where we can bring the people of God and begin to teach them. He is emphasizing, teach them. You can't blame the children of God when they commit adultery, when they commit fornication, murder, and they perpetuate cruelty and all stuff like that, where there is social injustice in society. You cannot blame them except you teach them. Teach them. Teach them. You know, teach them. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. That when a man is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, everything has become new. Teach them Romans chapter 6 verse number 12. Let no sin reign in your mortal body. That you should be able to obey the last thereof. Teach them Deuteronomy chapter 6. Hear, O Israel, from verse number 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. Thou shalt love. You know, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength or might. And uh, the words which I, I am, am, am presenting to you today, you will tie them on your neck, tie them on your hands. Teach them that the world 
is lost needing a savior and a messiah and that only savior is Jesus Christ we are not in a place where we are going to bring ourselves to equality or equity where we say well uh, Christianity is one of the ways to heaven and Islam is one of the ways to heaven and Hinduism is one of the ways to heaven no sir he is the only way he is the only truth he is the only life he is the answer to society he is the answer and I know you can't say amen to that because we have made it so we are encouraging and entertaining all kinds of things that is why we have occultism in church today the reason is lack of apostolic and kingdom teaching teach them the truth Teach them. Let them know that church is not a place to find Kaaba style. Let them know that church is not a place to come chase women. Let them know that church is not a place to come and chase men. Let them know that church is not a place to snatch husbands. Let them know that church. Oh, teach them. Teach them. Teach them that my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have turned it into the den of tears. Teach them that church is not a place for bitterness, for bickering, for empiffness, for backbiting, for, for all kinds of fleshly activities, including hypocrisy. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them, teach them that, teach them. Let them know, Ezekiel 18 verse 4, that all souls are mine, saith the Lord. Teach them, Isaiah chapter 45 verse number 12. Teach them that the earth belongs to God and everything that is in it. Teach them that your soul also belongs to God. Teach them. Leviticus chapter 25 verse 23 that the land should not be sold outright for you are all pilgrims and you are all sojourners and strangers teach them teach them that from the day you were born as a baby and your first cry came out a clock was stick to your life and the clock is ticking Every Christmas is an indication that your days are running out. Every birthday. Don't tell us the Lord has added one year to your ears. Tell us the Lord has deducted from your years. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them so that they will be mindful of their days. Teach them Genesis chapter 3 verse 19 that they are dust and dust they shall return. So that they will be mindful of pride and arrogance and they will be mindful of pompousness and self-aggrandizement. Teach them they are dust, they are breath, they are air. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them so that when they get the Range Rovers and the Bentleys and they build houses in East Legon and West Legon and North Legon and they fly business class and first class, they may not think that that is it and they will walk upon God and disobey his spirit and he disobey his prayer. Teach them! Teach them! Teach them! Job chapter 7, verse number 7. They should remember their, that they are life is wind that passes away. Teach them! Psalm 102, verse number 11, that their days are like a shadow that declined and uh, are like grass that withered. Teach them! Psalm 103, verse 15 and 16, that as for man, his days are like grass, as a flower in the field that nourishes in the day and in the night, it passes away and is gone. Teach them! Teach them, Psalm 90, verse 9 to 12. For all our days are passed away. In your right we spend our years. Teach them that we don't preach these messages in funerals. We don't preach these messages to dead people. Teach them that whilst they are alive and they can hear and they can amend their ways and make it right with God. Teach them that everybody sitting in church is not a Christian. Teach them. Oh, 
know you will not say amen, but I don't need the amens too much this morning. Teach them! Teach them. Teach them. Teach them that all the people in church, because they are not Christians, if you get a proposal in church, you must subject it to the throne for divine clearance. And pro teach them! Teach them. If you come to church and meet somebody and says, I will hook you up, you better subject that hook up to the throne for divine verification. Because not all the people who are here in the presence of God came to worship God. Teach them! People have come here for different reasons and different agendas. Some are frosters, some are thieves. I'm not joking. If you like, leave your phone, leave your wallet, leave your keys. You will know that we did not all come here to serve the Lord. Teach them! Teach them! Teach them! Teach them that when we are courting to get married and we are in our courtship process, we don't cook for a man, we don't wash for a man, we don't sleep in a man's house. Teach them the fear of God. Teach them Isaiah 33 verse number 6 that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time and strength of knowledge and the fear of God is his treasure. Teach them Teach them the fear of God because the church has lost the fear of God. The altar has turned into a stage and the people come and perform. Teach them that God is in his holy temple and let everything be silent before him. That God is a holy God and the pulpit is a holy place and an epicenter where God has placed his name. Teach them that you can't sleep with girls and stand on this altar. Teach them! Teach them! Teach them that one man cannot propose to four ladies in one church, sowing seeds of discord in the hearts of the daughters of Zion. Teach them! Oh, I can't hear your amen. I'm losing. Teach them! Teach them that God will bring every deed, every event, and every work, even every word into account. Teach them! Teach them that secret sins will be revealed before God. Teach them that the things we do in the dark can never be hidden forever. Teach them! Teach them! Teach them! I'm losing you. I'm losing you. I'm losing you. I'm losing. Teach them Jeremiah chapter 17, verse number 9, that the heart is desperately wicked. Wicked. Who can know it? Teach them verse number 10, where the Bible talks about, uh, you know, I the Lord tries and search the heart accordingly. Teach them verse number 11, which says that, Ni wapa dienya, a enya ne kwa asono, ete sa koko hidia, ubutu nkusia, enya wanone tu yeso, e chile no, ubebuni mkwa ne mweja, na watani wa kwa siya. Teach them! Teach them! Teach them. Teach, teach them. Oh, it looks like uh, the way this place is quiet. It looks like I may not return back to this altar again. Teach them. Teach them that the Christians cannot go to funerals and drink Guinness and drink beer and drink vodka and drink gin and drink whiskey and drink brandy and then come back to church and pray la 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 basha as if nothing has happened. Teach them! Teach them that there is something wrong in having a wife and still having girlfriends around. Teach them that when you say you are going to trek and you are saying the trek is at Kumasi, teach them it is an abomination when we find you at Senchi. Teach them! Teach them! Teach them! Teach them! Teach them, teach them, teach them, teach them.
teach them. Teach them that the fact that they become very successful and they push their money onto the altar doesn't mean we cannot tell the truth to them when they go from. Teach them! They cannot buy the spirit of God and they cannot buy the altar of God and they cannot buy the anointing of God. Teach them! They cannot buy the presence of God. Teach them! Teach them! It's an abomination for a man to sleep with a woman his daughter's age. Teach them it is an abomination for somebody, according to Leviticus chapter 18, for a man to sleep with his own daughter, for a brother to sleep with his own sister, for a man to sleep with an animal, for a woman to sleep with a woman, and for a man to sleep with a man. Teach them! Teach them. Teach them that you cannot have Shatawale's music on your phone. You cannot have Stone Boy's music on your wallet. Teach them! Teach them! It's getting tensious now. It's getting tensious now. It's getting very tensious. It's getting... Ah! Teach them. Teach them that they cannot belong to a church like this and travel to Nigeria and sign tens of thousands of dollars to other people and come here and dump one cities on the altar. Teach them they cannot be in a church like this and go to South Africa and see prophets and sign hundred thousand dollars to the prophet. And when we need money for Christ to the rural world, they turn off their eyes. Teach them that I am a just God. Teach them that I am a holy God. Teach them. Oh, it's quiet, it's quiet. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them that you cannot love yourself and hate your wife and despise your children. Teach them that if you can admire your secretaries at work, your wife deserves a better compliment. Teach them. Teach them. One come and me now can you can no pay. Teach them. It's so shocking and amazing. We can come to church and see the young ladies. Hi, you looking all gorgeous. Meanwhile, you are coming with a woman from your house and you did not even see there was slick makeup or MAC makeup or Estee Lauder makeup or L'Oreal makeup, an eyelash extension, a good nail therapy. Teach them! Teach them to begin from their home, their Jerusalem, before they take it to their Judea, to tell before they take it to their Samaria, before they take it to the ends of the world. Teach them! Teach them. If you can call you know, the, the, the secretary, hello dear, babes. They say, they say babes, Naba. Babes. I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Teach them! Teach them. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them that if you don't have a spouse, you don't use contraception. Teach them. There wouldn't be any need for that. Teach them, teach them, teach them, teach them that just like the young rich ruler who was rich toward himself and not rich toward God. Teach them, oh my God, I wish to say this. Teach them that if they will ob observe to do all that is written therein, I the Lord your God, I will supply all their needs according to his riches, my riches in glory in Christ Jesus. If they will honor me, I will honor them. Teach them them that I would deliver them from the newsome pestilence and the arrow that flyeth by day. A thousand will fall on thy side. A ten thousand at their right hand. It will 
knock at night them. Only with their eyes will they behold. Then see the destruction of the enemy. Teach them if they have a pure heart and clean hands. I the Lord will command my blessing upon them. Teach them that if they fear me, I will lay a table before them in the presence of their enemies. I will give them a miracle, a sign. When they go out, I shall be with them. When they come in, I shall be. Teach them that I the Lord, I am more powerful than Antwenyama. I am more powerful than Obinim Sticker. I am more powerful than all the madness of the prophets of Ghana. Teach them! Teach them! That I make a way where there is no way. I cause streams of living water to gush out in the desert place. If they will believe me, I will open heaven and give them bread. Teach them if they serve the Lord their God, He will bless their bread and their water. There will be none barren among them. Teach them! Teach them I am more powerful than the medium in their hometown. Teach them! That when the heart is pure and the hands are clean, you don't have to beg. The blessings will be automatic. Teach them! Teach them. Teach them till they come to the place of fulfillment and satisfaction. That in the presence of God is fullness of joy. At his right hand are pleasures forevermore. Teach them. Come on. Let's work. Teach them. Teach them. Let them know that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we can think or ask or imagine. Teach them that if they have an infirmity, I the Lord your God, I am their healing balm. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician? I send forth my word and I heal them. Teach them where there is no way I create a way and I make them go through. Teach them that I am well able to let them live over walls and run through truth. Teach them that I'm able to lift up their heads among their competitors and do them good exceedingly. Teach them that today I am so the same as I was yesterday and I will be the same as I will ever be. Teach them that I am going to do an amazing work that every year that year it shall tinker. Teach them that the miracles are not too hard for me to perform. Are you ready? Like he asked a man at the pool of Bethesda. Teach them that the miracles are just available and abundantly. I can do it for them. Teach them that I work with time and seasons and when the time and seasons have not yet come, I may be teaching you, I may be training you, I may be preparing you, I may be working on you and therefore trust me and believe me. I am God Almighty. I change it not. David said, I have been young. I am old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Nor his seed begging bread. I will take care of you. And I'll take care of your spouse. And I'll take care of your children. When you can take care of them. I will even take care of you. When you are sleeping. And you cannot take care of yourself. I the Lord. I will do that. Teach them. Stand to your feet. Let's pray. Teach them! Teach them. Teach them. Teach them! Teach them in their times of desperation. In their very lonely hours. I am present, Jehovah Shammah. Teach them that when the doctors give a bad and evil report, I am so Jehovah Rafika Rafa. I'm a healer. A dear be anywhere. I switch out with this MSA. Teach them that I created a human being. The body is a workmanship of my hands. Teach them. That even they who are human know how to give good things to their children. Teach them that if they who are human and sinful can create a computer and create paracals and peripherals and accessories to it. If they create a car and they can create spare parts, how much more he creating you and not thinking that you will need a part? Teach them that I am able. Teach them. Teach all the ladies 
who feel that the marriage is delaying, teach them that there is even hope for the tree that is planted in the forest that if it be cut off at the scent of water, it will sprout out again. Teach them! Teach the people who were, who were refused a bank loan facility and visas. Tell them that when one door closes, many opens. I have a way of honoring and taking the glory. Teach them! Teach the women whose husbands have gone wayward and promiscuous that I am a faithful God. If they can wait upon me, I can turn things around. Teach them. Teach them. That's how I close. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them. Let them know. Let them know that, you know, they that run to me, I do not cast them off. It doesn't matter what they have done. They might have caused abortion, murdered people, and done the worst things. But teach them that when I laid on the cross, I had redemption in mind. I have justification in mind. I have sanctification in mind. I have glorification in mind. I had regeneration in mind. I had adoption in mind. Teach them! My spirit cried, Abba, Father. Teach them. Teach them. Wherever you have been this morning, the Lord is telling you, come back to line. I am able to restore you all the years the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar have devoured. Stop looking out to the malams, to deceptive people on television, to so-called prophets. I am telling you, when you see, when you meet a prophet of Yahweh, you can easily tell. The Lord sent me to tell you, put your trust in him. Jesus said, believe in God, believe also in me. Put your heart in God. Sometimes I have to admit, it's difficult. Sometimes things turn very difficult. Sometimes it looks like God is on vacation. I am not a hypocrite, I'm a realist. Sometimes it looks like you are praying and you are hitting a wall or a dead end. But just like Ohine gave to Auntie, the miracle came at the right time. Just like Apostle Amweni, almost 30 years in marriage without children, Four years ago, the miracle came one, two, three, triplets at once. God knows what he's doing. There is nobody in this place who will sit in the plane and ask, does the pilot know what he's doing? Have you flown a, have you flown a plane before? You don't ask those questions. You just sit down and buckle up and the plane takes off. Trust God. Jehoradidi. He is able. Believe him. Believe him. Believe him. So teach them that all good and perfect gift cometh from God. From the Father of lights, in whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. Your hands are lifted up to Jesus. Let's sing one of the old ones. Jesus is passing this way. This way. Come on. This way. Jesus is passing this way. This way. This way. Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way. Let's sing it for the last time.
a dichotomous prayer we want to pray this morning we want to pray a twofold prayer we want to tell the Lord bring us back in line we want to make it right with God we want to be successful on earth but we are mindful of judgment awaiting us I'm very mindful and I look at the way people are dying these days the question always is how prepared am I to face God the Bible said now prepare to meet your God and then the other divide of the dichotomy of the prayer we want to pray is that we want to ask the Lord my hands are weak I am in a season of frail day I am getting discouraged help me strengthen me and remember me your two hands are lifted close your eyes let's pray in the name of the Lord Jesus we come before the throne of God the God of our salvation the Bible said the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous run to it and they are saved we come to him with I am Shishia. oh my God oh there is a present I am him I am in accordance with your word, God, yes, go, God. we are for the grace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh God. The Lord of God, we are in a moment of God of frailty in the name of Jesus. We ask for your grace, oh God, divine strength, oh God, to keep us all on your Lord it. Jesus. We need you, oh God, to trust in you in the name of the Lord Jesus. For your word assures us, oh God, that when we yeah. trust in you, oh God, for you, oh God, shall lead us, oh God, in a perfect way in the name of the Lord Jesus. Therefore, we come, oh God, with you. Yeah. So God, asking of your grace, so God, grace, so God, grace to trust in you, oh God, grace to lead you, oh God, in the name of the yeah. Lord Jesus Christ. Divine strength of God to keep us so God in the way of truth, oh Lord. Karianda, Masatala Brabababa, Lipayabalia Catalanda, Lipayabolo Satalabababa, Lipayabababa, that will trust in you, oh God, in every season of our life, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Makatianda, Repayabababa, Picalabo Sababa, that Telebababa, Lipania Balo Satalabababa. In the name of Jesus, my God, my This morning, I remember one time, I was traveling with my mother. We were traveling from Heathrow Terminal 5 back to Ghana, Accra. My mother is afraid of five things in her life. My mother is afraid of dogs. My mother is afraid of white people. My mother is afraid of the police. My mother is afraid of the lifts. And my mother is afraid of the escalators. All five things are in the airport. You can only imagine the drama. Just imagine the drama. There are places in Heathrow where you cannot go by stairs. You need escalators, you need a lift and all that. My mother is terribly, has a phobia for it. In trying to help my mother, we were with an uncle who had 
a little bag or clouch kind of thing. In the bag was 30,000 pounds. And in the quest aiding my mother, trying to beckon on her and urge her on, encourage her, and you were her. Nkramanu wa unhu wa mono, unye di bonyini ya wamo nka. Wamo ajumane se wamo wa idi inu bonyi huja. Wamo basu wamo ube chere wamo. Wo unhu nubida. Didi ule mo miyanko. Trying to help my mother to say that lift no jinaso ni sumimo ne katawene. And let's just cruise. While I was trying to do that, my uncle misplaced that little bag with 30,000 pounds. Suddenly, my mother's fear disappeared because my mother is a praying woman. My mother just picked up on two phrases of prayer. Everybody showed the anointing. Yes, who showed the anointing. And she chanted it over 300 times. We went to the flight because we were missing our flight without the bag. And my uncle was distracted. My mother said, The God I saved from my childhood. And when I'm Shankuan worship, I'm Fauzi and Veskan and Kofi. But I'm to see you now. We arrived in Kotoka, and the person who came to pick us came with news that the police had gone home number 57 Fraser Road, Edmonton to deliver that bag with 30,000 pounds intact intact I'm not talking about card, cash intact yes, it was a phone where we were on a woman my mother chant as if she is not afraid of all the things again chant she went here chanted it so many times angels found her you know gave it to the police and they returned it to my uncle's address I want to talk to somebody you know, when we come to church and we are all goodly drawers, smelling good, and hairstyle, makeup is nice, never be deceived that everything is well. Never. People are going home to cry and mess up makeup. I want to pray for as many people who are believing God for something to shift. And the number five is the number grace, mercy, favor, compassion, and kindness. And somebody who is looking for the Lord's kindness in a business deal, in a job, in a relationship, something. Your children, something. And you want to just declare your commitment that I will put on this altar only 500 cities as my commitment fee or vow or seed or obligation to the Lord if it is not here now in our next service which is Wednesday you can send us to church you can bring it to the office whatever you want to do as many people you want me to pray with you this morning from the galleries to the main auditorium I want to pray with you. only 500 cities is your seed to say yes can I pray for you you may not need this but your children need it they are writing exams and they need the kindness of God you may not need it but your wife needs a baby and I'm telling come on I'm telling you what is 500 CDs to you Ah, what is it to you that God has been extremely oh my God good to you this morning you want to tell the Lord how are they Yes, sir. Glorify your name. Something must open up. I want to pray with you. 500 cities. Whether it's from today up to Wednesday. You will send us a check. 
in the name of charismatic evangelistic ministry the cm not look on whatever come let's pray you don't have 500 you have 300 you have 200 and lastly you have 100 you want to tell the lord show it to you. and when you have 100 200 300 you can do this please don't deny your children who are writing wasi and the children who are going to write bc they need this they need this they need it i want to pray with you Everybody show the end with Yes, you show the end with him. That prayer, I will never forget it. I will never forget it. When I went wayward, when I was not born again, my mother never stopped praying. Save my boy. Save my boy. Save my boy. Every day she cried. I saw the tears as just, you know, something light. But my mother kept praying. Save my boy. Everybody show the end of Yes, you show the end It's a prayer I will never forget. Show the end of I have whispered this prayer on people needing a miracle in many services. Everybody show the end of Yes, you show the end of And I have seen miracles. I have seen somebody without a womb giving birth to a boy we call the boy Shiloh as a lady had had an earlier surgery and they had taken her womb out reason was because they left a little Caesars in there and when they saw that three months they realized she was having a skin irritation they took her back did a lab test and they saw corrosion they took her back to the theater opened her up and then took the Caesars up but it had, cor it had corrupted the womb so they took the womb out 11 years after she wanted a baby husband married and there was conception Amasaman General Hospital Government Hospital the doctor pulled me aside and said Prof, in two days, said, where do you think the baby is lying? I'm saying, Doc, what kind of question is that? me and you, who is using diagnostic machines? who should be asking that question? complications bleeding but God nine months Push the baby out and we name him Shiloh. Everybody show the anointing. I started from 500. I will end with 50 Ghana. You want to join us? Join us quickly. Let's pray. 50 Ghana. Say. Anybody who see this not yet, can you? I bless these envelopes in the name of Jesus. Can you please help me with the envelopes? You know. So officers, come and help me very quickly. Share these envelopes. Let's, let's do it very quick whilst I pray with you. Your children will never 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 miss the opportunities of success in exams i'm telling you your husband will never miss an opportunity of a breakthrough your wife you will not miss an opportunity of a spouse show the Want to pray with you. Show the anointing. Da 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 bohoya. Rika tut kade. We declare in the name of the Son of the Living God. We declare in Jesus' name that everybody standing before this altar today, even the people sitting, we bring them all before your throne. That they ready. Show the anointing. In every situation, let there be a performance in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of 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 Jesus. Let the doors be open. Glorify your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If yours is here, you can drop it off. If not, from today till Wednesday. Find a way to bring it to the altar. Trust in me for, for food. 
Let's receive my Father. The Lord bless you. Thank you. Take your offering for the service. Let's honor God. Take your offering for the service. I have seen, I have seen. Can you hold on just two minutes? Hello, bless. I have seen too many people on the first of January. A first cousin of mine, whilst we were in 31st. Praying, declaring, prophesying. He had mixed tramadol with acquitation. Plus, we, because now they mix acquit with we and brood it. Not the Afra tramadol. Ghana for a friend of tramol. Not the one you think. Now, boy, 31st night, I'm not a bad man. 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 Woman As we preach to you, you're, you're offering it. You be a ready man into God has been good to you. This is your thanksgiving. I declare thank you to the Father, to Jesus, and to the Spirit of God. Amen. Come on, let's drop it in our offering. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Are we coming or the ushers? Okay, please come and engage the altar. We in the galleries, the protocol will get it. Come on. We declare a miracle over your offering. We declare a breakthrough over your seed and your sacrifice. We declare in the name of Jesus, the Lord will keep you and bless you and favor you in the name of Jesus. We are not, we are see God in it. We declare a miracle, a breakthrough, a testimony in the name of Jesus. You will never lack, you will never run dry. It is well with you. In the name of Jesus, the glory, the grace of God is your portion. We are the mouth. We speak prophetically 
In the name of Jesus. Jam that door, man. Read it. Jam that door. Read Come on, go ahead, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Clap your hands, everybody in the building, unto the Lord. What a word. What a word. I say, what a word. It's amazing. This man is a preaching machine. These are the end time reverend is with Anabes. The voice for the nation. Bringing everything back to order. There's a need for us to have a voice like this because the way things are going, we need a voice like this. Amen. Come on, let's put it up for Prophet Odro. Alabaster ministry. Before we do the pastoral emphasis, we want to go in a quick time. Uh, let's have uh, Mama Jane to do one of the last announcements. I'm sorry I missed one announcement. We have Fred Boache of SEM Protocol and Ya Asarebeko of Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Christ Family, North Kaneshi. Please put your hands together for them. Fred is in our main protocol getting married to Ya Asarebeko from Presby Church Christ Family Congregation North Kaneshi the date is the 28th of April the venue is the Presbyterian Church of Ghana Christ Family Congregation North Kaneshi and the time is 12 a.m. so please take notes this wedding is taking place on the 28th of April the venue is the Presbyterian Church of Ghana Christ Family Congregation, North Kaneshi, and the time is 12 noon. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Please quickly, we want to also bring forward our brother, Paparazzi. That's what we always call him, but he's called Eric. Our brother, Paparazzi, and the wife, the family. Paparazzi lost the mother on the 13th of February at the Ridge Hospital. The funeral is 21st April. We should have brought him forward next week Sunday, but next week Sunday he's asked permission to attend the final meeting for the uh, funeral. So he will not be in church. That's why we are showing him to the church today. So this is Paparazzi, this is the wife. He's lost the mother. The funeral is 21st April. That is two weeks Saturday ahead at Kliko at Bozume. So please, all church, all church members who want to attend, please put down your names at the information Dex B so that we'll make the necessary transport arrangement to go and stand with our brother. Next week, the announcement will be made, but he will not be here to stand in front of us. Thank you very much. God bless you. Why were you somewhere about the click of Bozume? It's a dangerous zone. Do you know the meaning of Agbozome? Agbo Gazwame. The cow has become a human being. That's the meaning of the name of the town. Agbozome. Agbo Gazwame. 
So those of you are going on, on, on the funeral, pray in tongues. <laughs> Intercessors meeting is on Tuesday from 6.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. at the Traveling Chapel. Midweek service on Wednesday, I'll be preaching on how to hear the voice of God through worship on Wednesday. Come and listen to that message on Wednesday. Prophetic encounter is on Thursday, 9 o'clock in the morning at Traveling Chapel. Uh, Pastor Mike will be arriving on Wednesday, on Wednesday and therefore on Thursday he will be at a prophetic encounter. And the um, marriage counseling is at 6 p.m. at the Grace Chapel on Thursday. And Friday, prophet, we are bringing another prophet again this Friday coming, so please don't miss out. We shall advertise him. It's at 6, pe- at 6 p.m. at the Robo Temple. Now, tour to, to Israel, all, all participants must complete their payments at the close of April. If you want to go to Israel, start paying or, or finish up with your payment. All those who want to get married, should pick up a form from Reverend Francis Cafe after close of service at information desk A. She, 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 where's Cafe? He has the forms with him. She guys pick it now. She hot, kick, and get married. Amen. The Sunday school people want to thank us. Where are they? Come, come up, come up. We don't have time. We don't have time. Come. We don't have time. Come. Stop looking. Good morning, church. And I'm standing here on behalf of the children's ministry to say thank you to you. Last week, we were here asking you to be with us at the family fanfare, and you were there, and the program was good. Jesus taught us that when somebody does something for you, you should go back and say thank you. So that is why we are here. The program was very successful, and the children were happy. And that is what God wants us to do for our children. God bless you for all that you spent to make this program a successful one. And let us have time for our children always. God bless you for all that you have done for us. Amen. God bless you too. All right, I want to close. Prophet Odro, you are something else. Something. God bless you. You have improved on your preaching. Just a who preach, very eloquent, very informed. He preaches with style and power. Oh, I love the preaching. Love the preaching. Preaching. Every Sunday is on 94.3, right? Every Sunday, he preaches in the morning. Powerful. Let's rise and close the service. He's preaching on the second service as well. An sano nipa beye okra tia sefo ye beso mo da da an sano nipa beye okra tia sefo ye beso mo Prophet, come and just give us the blessings. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift up his face upon you and shine the light of his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Go in peace and come with many testimonies of God the Father, of the Lord Jesus, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. See you on Wednesday and see you on Friday as well. Come to church early on Sunday. If you have your tithe, if you have your pledge, bring it up.
He's a man of integrity, honesty, and humility. We are blessed and honored to have you in our midst. Reverend Steve Mensa, General Overseer of the Charismatic Evangelistic Ministry, one of the great sons of Ghana the Lord has raised. His heart's desire is to see souls turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and to also bring revivals in the rural areas. His ministry provides free medical care, free food and clothing to the aged, needy, poor, blind, cripples. He's a man of integrity, honesty, and humility. We are blessed and honored to have you in our midst. Reverend Steve Mensa, General Overseer of the Charismatic Evangelistic Ministry, one of the great sons of Ghana the Lord has raised. His heart's desire is to see souls turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and to also bring revivals in the rural areas. His ministry provides free medical care, free food and clothing to the aged, needy, poor, blind, cripples. He's a man of integrity, honesty, and humility. We are blessed and honored to have